Well, now, now that we know where the money comes from and the forms of the uh, money in financial aid, let's take a look at the actual financial aid award. And it's really important that everybody in the audience appreciates how to evaluate an award because if you've gone through all the trouble to qualify for an award and you don't get an adequate award, then uh, all of your good work and uh, paperwork has been undermined. So let's take a look at this. First of all, to give you an idea of what it should look like, this is a case study. In this case, the cost of my college is $46,000. This family is expected to pay $10,000. And so they have a demonstrated need of $36,000. And so an award for that family might look something like this. And I put in parentheses the pockets that the money comes from just so you get used to this and, f and so you can understand where this, this stuff emanates from. The cost of my college is $46,000. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you a subsidized staff loan. Remember the name subsidized means that the government will pay the interest on the loan as long as the student is in college and beyond. Of $3,500, that's from the federal pocket. I'll give you a federal work study of $2,000. Usually it's from the federal pocket. But colleges have realized that they can increase the size of their very low income uh, workforce by throwing in some uh, money of their own. So a lot of campuses are adding to their workforce by throwing in some of their own money in the form of work study. That's from the federal pocket and some campus pays money. Cal Grant A in the state of California, you'd see something like this of 9708 from the state pocket. The alumni scholarship is from our campus based scholarship or campus-based pocket, $10,551. And finally, a J.P. Aardvark scholarship of $10,241. Add all that up, and it comes out to $36,000. Well, the cost of my college is forty-six. dollars The expected family contribution is ten. dollars The eligibility for aid is $36,000. 36 from 36 is zero. We have an unmet need of zero. That is a very, very fine financial aid award. Does it always happen that way? No. And this is, these are some of the more common practices on the part of colleges. And the reason you see these, these practices are not because colleges are full of bad people, but there could be a couple of reasons. One is the college doesn't have very much money to help with, and sometimes they want to see how knowledgeable the, the, the receiving family is about the financial aid system because most families are not very knowledgeable. Hopefully you will be. And they will see uh, if they can what they call gap the family. This is how that works. Same exact situation. The need is $36,000, and we offer these things. But look, the, the Aardvark scholarship is missing. But they don't, you, don't, you don't notice it because you never saw it before if you're a new family. Total award in this case is $25,759. And the family takes one look at that and says, oh my gosh, we're going to get, you know, kind of multiply by four over in their minds, we're going to get about $100,000 in need-based financial aid. And they celebrate. They think it's the greatest thing they ever saw. What they're not paying attention to is the $40,000 they're not getting that should be in the form maybe of an Aardvark scholarship. So they accept this award, and they're happy about that, and the college saves itself about $40,000 in aid. This is called gapping. And in this economy, you're going to see this is the, is the rule, not the exception. Families across the United States in the foreseeable future are going to be routinely gapped. And so you want to be aware of that when you get a financial aid award of your own. Here, the unmet need was $10,241. That's the size of the gap. Here's another very common practice. Same situation, but in place of the Aardvark Scholarship, there's something called a PLUS loan. It stands for Parent Loan for Undergraduate Student. Colleges are tending more and more to masquerade a PLUS loan as though it's need-based financial aid. It isn't. You don't have to demonstrate need to get a PLUS loan. So a family would look at this and say, wow, I had a $36,000 need, and they provided me with $36,000. That number right there. So we ha And the college will say, we have an unmet need of zero. We took care of your need. Well, the fact is that they gap them. They masqueraded a non-need-based loan as though it were a need-based loan. There's a gap here of $10,241. It's almost the same as a gap. So when you get a financial aid award, you want to take a look at it from two angles. One, does it take care of your need? That is the quantity, the quantity of the aid. Does it match your demonstrated need? And the other one is qualitative. Is there a nice balance between what they call self-help aid loans and work study and free money or scholarships. 
So you want to look at both of those dimensions when evaluating a financial aid award. In order to evaluate an award, you need four components. The first is the actual cost of college. Remember a long time ago, earlier in this workshop, we talked about that number, the cost of attendance or the student budget. You need to know what that is in order to evaluate your financial aid award. Then you need to know what was your calculated expected family contribution. If you don't know that, you can't evaluate the award. And then you want to know the forms of aid, how much self-help aid, loans and work study, and how much free money or scholarships. And then you also want to know the total amount, which is right here, the total amount, and then the forms of aid. If any of those pieces are missing, you need to call the college and fill in the pieces because without the, all four pieces, you cannot adequately evaluate your financial aid award. So here's an example. The cost of my college is $36,412. The EFC of this family is $12,381. And this is their award. Subsidized Stafford loan of $3,500, a college grant of $5,000, and a plus loan of $27,912. Total award, $36,412. If you were grading this award, how would you grade it? A, B, C, D, or F? Take a look at it. Okay, everybody figure out what it was? You want me to, to evaluate it? This is how I would evaluate it. It's an F. There's an enormous gap of $15,531. You're beginning to get a feel for it? Let's try another one. Cost of attendance is $48,000, $10. The EFC of this family is $7,519. Here's the award. Subsidized Stafford loan of $3,500, Perkins loan of $2,000, College grant of $25,000, federal work study of $3,000, and alumni scholarship of $6,321. Total award, $39,821. Give it a grade, A, B, C, D, or F. Got it? I give them an A. There is a small gap, but it's a big need, so I can put up with a small gap. And it's a really nice balance of self-help aid, the loans, and the, and the work study, and most of it's free money. That's a nice balance, so I would give it an A. Let's try another one. Cost of attendance of my college is 23745. The EFC of this family is 4123. Here's the award. Stafford loan of 3500. Uh, Perkins loan of 2000. Uh, let's see. Uh, Pell grant of four, $400. Federal work study of 3000. Governor's grant of 1000. And a campus, no interest loan, special no interest loan from this campus. Total award. $19,622. How would you rate that? A, B, C, D, or F? Got it? I gave it a D. I gave it a D because while it fills a demonstrated need, there's an awful lot of loans. Now you say, well, why does that matter? Well, look at this expected family contribution of $4,123. What does that tell you about this family? They don't make a lot of money. They may make forty-five dollars or $50,000 a year total. And by the time they're done with college, they're going to have over $60,000 worth of loans. So for this family, while it fills their need, qualitatively, it's an inadequate award. There's too, many, too, much, too much emphasis on, uh, on loans. Finally, let's take a look at this one. The EFC is uh, 9417, subsidized direct loan of 3500 university grant of 5000 alumni scholarship of 2500 total award 11000 what would you give it, A, B, C, D, or F? Trick question, huh? No grade. Why? We don't know the cost of attendance. So the cost of attendance is missing. You can't tell if there's a gap. Then you need to call the college and fill in that piece of the information so you can evaluate it. So now you've seen the financial aid award in action. You've seen where the rubber meets the road. You have a sense of what's a good award and what's a bad award, and now what I want to do is to move you on to something uh, that will actually save you some out-of-pocket money.